Welcome to Juliet Kitchen with Yasmin. Wow, look at this gorgeousness. These are Harry Cobert French style spring beans that I just harvested, harvested out of my garden. Uh, Before we get started, if you're new here to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and click the bell for notification whenever I upload a new video. And of course, welcome back to my returning subscribers. They are so fresh, so delicious. They're sweeter than buying them in the grocery store. Today, I'm actually going to show you how I make a potato salad with uh, the string beans. Well, not all of it. This is two pounds. Um, that's how much I yielded. But I'm going to be showing you how I make my version of a French style string beans and potato salad. There's absolutely no mayonnaise required. It is one of my family's favorite, and every time folks eat it, they're asking for the recipe. So I'm sharing the recipe today. Some of the string beans, I'm actually going to be saving it for tomorrow. I want to use it up by tomorrow, but I'm going to show you another recipe uh, that I'll share in a different video. One of our favorite string beans with mincemeat. It's gorgeously delicious, but let's get cooking with this specific recipe that's so easy, so delicious. And you know what? It's really great to take to a backyard party in the summer. And folks will really be impressed if you're growing your own string beans and you make this recipe. Some of these you could actually add to a coup de tape platter with some dip in it. Mm. These are very sweet. So good. And I do have my potatoes cooking already. So I want to cook these to a nice tenderness. And I'm going to steam enough string beans to add to the potatoes. So let's get with the rest of it. I'm going to be using about 8 to 10 ounces of these fresh string beans. So I have my pot of water come into a boil. I'm going to use this steamer basket just to put them on the boiler and steam them for no more than three minutes because these are very young. So they'll be nice and cooked. And since I won't be uh, blanching this in cold water after it's cooked, I want to undercook it because the steam is going to continue to cook the beans. While I'm waiting to get these steamed, I'm going to make a very quick and simple vinaigrette. It's a champagne vinaigrette and everything's going to be done in the bowl that I'll be using to uh, mix the salad. This is a small amount of uh, salad dressing but you could certainly make a big batch if you will. Sometimes I do if I'm going to be using a lot of salads during the week. I love to use garlic in my salad dressing. I'm using one garlic or about one teaspoon grated. By the way, if garlic isn't your thing, you can skip it. I'm also using red onion finely minced, but you could use shallot, which I usually use often. I'm using a generous amount of dill. I want to use mostly the sprigs off of the dill. Chop the dill very finely. You can substitute tarragon or fresh thyme if you prefer. I'm going to use just a little bit of this in the salad dressing. Say about a teaspoon. I'm adding about a teaspoon of grey poupon. To put a little pinch of ground cumin. What a teaspoon is good. Fresh ground black pepper. A bit more salt. It might look like a lot of salt, but it really isn't because the beans weren't cooked in any salt and then you have tomatoes in here, you'll be fine. Champagne vinegar. You could use white wine vinegar if you prefer. And I'm using extra virgin olive oil here. You can use grapeseed or avocado oil for a more neutral flavor if you prefer. A little whisk does the job. Whenever I'm making a small amount of vinaigrette, this is how I do it. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. These baby red potatoes work perfectly in the recipe, but you could substitute Yukon Gold baby potatoes if you prefer. I like to cut these so that the potatoes absorb all of the uh, seasoning. These are nice and tender.
one tablespoon of champagne if you have it. If not, you can use white wine. About a tablespoon of um, about a tablespoon of chicken stock or vegetable stock. Oops, I do want to put salt and pepper. Even though I seasoned the potatoes with salt, it still usually needs a little bit more. Oh, no pepper. Give it a nice mix. Set aside for a few minutes so the flavors marry. In the meantime, cook the string beans. I like to use some uh, onions, so I'm going to use the red onions. Or you can substitute whatever type of onion you prefer. Once the string beans are cooked for about three minutes, you want to drain them, allow them to cool. Now I just want to cut these into smaller bite-sized pieces. They don't, even, they don't need to be even. There you go. Got some beautiful tomatoes here. You could use any type of tomatoes you prefer. You could use cherry or grape tomatoes. Okay, in goes my red onions. Potatoes with all of those juices. Tomatoes. String beans. Give it a gentle mix. It's really great for a backyard party. I want two more ingredients. Some beautiful scallions. Get this straight into my bowl. And then I want these beautiful fresh chives that I picked from the garden. going to go right into the bowl and of course I want to put the, the rest of the dill let's see that's a good tablespoon make this early in the day or a day ahead the longer it sits in the seasoning the better it tastes mm, look at that look at that You have to try this. For storage, my string bean has been washed and I usually dry them very well once they're washed and add them to a bowl that's lined with a paper towel and then leave it open and refrigerate it. This will last up to about seven days, but typically I use them within one or two days. I'll have to taste. Mm, look at that. Wow. Mm. The flavors are just perfect. The dill is not overpowering. Wow. This is superb. These string beans are absolutely delicious. This is the best potato salad that my whole family loves. So I hope you give it a try.